Here's Keith to post nicely and Brooks finished. What happens in our game here tonight? And NC State would not fall out of the field of 68. The Wolfpack controls the opening tip. And Markel Johnson, who is the key to this North Carolina State team, when he plays well, they can beat just about anybody. He's the kind of guy that, that likes to push that tempo. We talked about Kevin Keats wants it up and down the floor, but so does Roy Williams. And I think the team that wins is Markel Johnson. Bound. See if Anthony thought about firing the three. Fouls Garrison Brooks, who got away with the travel. <laughs> seen that this year. Offensive rebound, Brooks. Here he lost about eight pounds with that illness that cost him the play. Shot clock in single digits. Baycott right at Funderburk who tipped away, but Garrison Brooks puts it back up and one. Carolina, Andrew Playtech into the game for the Tar Heels. Brooks has a size advantage on Helms. We go to the free throw line. He won as we check in with Brookmore on Markel Johnson. Well, he actually likes a little motivation and told me that when Coach Keats called him. I think it's just a, a point of pride. It really, yes, this yes. year, you know, there's not a great deal of separation. I'm not sure it matters that much in terms of bracketing. And back to the free throw. As you said, one of the best shot blockers there is in the ACC. Oh, my God. Oh, look at Markel Johnson split and get all the way in, but a good contest by the Tar Heels. And Brooks come to way to go in overtime. And Duke's supposed to have the best chance to win the national championship game, which, again, who makes that up and why? I have no idea. Brooks back and down and going right over. Brooks working on Bates. Sandy rolls it home. The crowd wondering how in the world that wasn't a turnover, but I think Braxton just lost the whole thing. Bryce gets in the paint. Daniels can't get it to go, and now Leakey Black. They have to realize the shot clock is inside five. Leakey has to put it up, and Brooks is going to get him another 20. This is it for Carolina State, another turnover by the Wolfpack. Leakey Black. Hit the bottom of the rim and another second chance for the heel. And Brooks is fouled on Michigan State. Right? It's just coming up to March, starting to figure things out. And North Carolina can be five meetings against the Wolfpack. Garrison cuts off the ball nicely. Johnson. Oh, big ones. Shouldn't be a whistle, though. Brooks, that was a great feed from Anthony. That he plays some of his best basketball when he shares it doesn't mean he doesn't score. He's got to be looking to score. Here's Keith to post nicely and Brooks finish. Can't help off the shooters these days. Another good pass from Pearson or Pierce rather in foul for on the Bucks and the Raptors. See what Lewis Riddick has to say about the quarterback draft class and do things. He's looking as if he needed a break. Remember, he didn't play against Louisville. He's at Anthony made a big jumper last time. Dangerously leaves it on the ground, and Brooks is going to be fouled quickly. They'll take their chances with the tips. It's hard to imagine. And Brooks is in with 11. Make it 10 of 12. It's terrific. He's shown up, made some noise. Applied a whistle when needed here and there. He's <laughs> ready. Robinson okay. handling it and. And Brooks has done a great job at the free throw line, hitting on Monday night, and then Wake Forest at home. So a couple games that they should win. Unlike it's hilarious to me. To that end, North Carolina player. One of two. And the rebound for Brooks. And he is quickly programmed. If you can pull this thing out in the next 14.6s. And they were playing like that up until that loss against Ohio State. Another Ohio and Ohio State. Here's Keith to post nicely and Brooks finished.